capítulo 2. Vale, directamente un puzzle, no sé por qué. No sé si tengo que llegar a todos, a todos los sitios, a todas las carpetas. Ah, vale, 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 ya veo. Later in the show, Bobby's Hot Topic. Today's topic is roadkill. Deadly or delicious? Call in, let us know what you think. Meanwhile, here's Duke with today's top news stories. The Rancho Health Corporation has extended its quarantine to cover the entire Yelltown area. It's not yet known how many people have been affected by the unidentified viral infection. CEO Patrick Rancho spoke to BWET earlier. The outbreak is now securely contained. And we are providing Yelltown with truly world-class treatment. Meteorologica has issued a severe weather warning tonight. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. I just had a real interesting telephone call with the old chain of command. Turns out I didn't see what I thought I saw over in Yelltown. Guess I must have got confused, right? Because I thought I saw you and your RHC buddies murdering innocent people. Guess I need to get my eyes tested, eh? The thing is, I didn't get round to telling anyone I had one of you RHC goons in my basement. You've been here for a week now. I'm getting a little impatient. ¿Para qué me apuntas si estoy atado? Eh... ¿Me puedes dar un vaso de agua? Cute. <laughs> But you can't cute your way out of this. I don't work for RHC. You gotta believe me. You expect me to buy that cockamamie disguise story? Think very carefully and give me something I can believe. Mm, estoy intentando encontrar una cura para el virus. A ver si me crees. To find a cure for the disease. I know your cover story, kid. But what's in that canister, Pepto Bismol? I can see I'm wasting my time here. I'm gonna have to terminate this interview. Wait, no. Ah! Gosh darn it! Not the radio. Ah, él la puede arreglar. Ya verá. Ah, oh, jeez, it's broken. Él puede arreglarlo. No, the ropes are too tight. I can't move at all. Ah, todavía me ha dejado la navaja. I can't reach it. No llego. I can't reach. Y él no se mueve, ¿no? Uh, I 
I don't like being tied up in the same room as that thing. I don't think I ought to wrench that. I don't think the file can help me. Vale, al menos no me dice. I don't think those things. No, no me dice que no se puede. This doesn't feel like a. Alicates, no, tijeras. Oh, I can't reach. Vale, dice que no llega. Al menos las tijeras y el cuchillo dice que no llega. I can't see how to use. Oh, I can't. Hablar con ella. Are you just gonna leave me like this? Quit whining. I'll see to you once I get this radio working. You know, I I could probably fix that. Exacto, radio. él puede repararla. Just shut your yap a minute. Darn it. It's probably the fuse. If the fuse box had tripped, the lights would be out. I mean, it's probably a fuse in the radio case. Just just let me take a look at it. Hmm. You seemed real scared when that lightning struck. Pensaba que ibas a dispararme. Well, I, I thought you were gonna shoot me. You screamed like a Girl Scout. That was a battle cry. <laughs> oh yeah? Tell you what. If your handyman story is true, fix my radio. Vale, todos los objetos que llevaba, excepto la multiherramienta, fuera. Ya no la tenemos. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, blown views. I told you so. Well, fix it then if you're so smart. I'll see what I can do. It has a blown fuse. Vale, necesitamos... Cajetilla de tabaco. Uh -huh, a clue. Wait, this isn't a clue, it's just a grody old cigarette box. Vale, necesitamos fusible. ¿De dónde? Out here, it seems hard to believe the Yelltown attack actually happened. Ah, el cacharro este tendrá fusible. I can't see how to use the screwdriver. No. No creo que eso no tiene sentido. I don't think I can do. No, no tiene sentido. Vale, puedo subir. Leaving until my radio was working. Pero no tengo fusible, a ver. Maybe I can bypass the fuse with something conductive. Un material conductor para hacer de puente directamente puede no, puede fundir la radio sin fusible. Si haces eso te cargas la radio. Sobre todo bajo una tormenta. Me and that beam got to know each other real well. Thanks for having my back, buddy. Mujer sin escrúpulos, dice. A box of Qatar Slims. It's empty, apart from this aluminum. Papel de aluminio. Vale, con el papel de aluminio sí que podemos hacer un puente. Ah, I can bypass the broken fuse with the aluminum foil from the cigarette box. Let's see. Well, I'll be. You did it. Are you going to tie me to the thing again? Well, if your story's true, let's hear that radio signal you told me about. Um... The signal was pretty faint. I'm not sure your radio... I mean, I'll try. Well, it's actually pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Come on upstairs. I'll make some coffee. Gracias por el café. Me he sentado bien. Thanks for the coffee. It was great. My dad's blend. At least I could do after tying you up and all. My name's Aberrain Jervis. I'm the park ranger here in Greystone Woods National Park. A park? I thought you were some renegade cop. No, I'm a renegade park ranger. A whole lot worse. Well, I've wasted a lot of time. 
Tengo que ponerme en contacto con el Dr. McBride y Halliwell. I have to contact Professor McBride and Halliwell. I called P and U and the paper you said she works for. No luck. My guess is, if they made it out of Yelltown, they're laying low. I'm sure they made it. And I have to get that canister to Professor McBride. Listen, I won't let you go hitchhiking to nowhere with a plague canister in your fanny pack. For all I know, you're just an RHC goon who's a good liar. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? So, what do we do? Here's the thing. I heard that signal of yours before. Breaking in on the car radio, on walkie-talkies, and the symbol on that canister. I've seen that before, too. Somewhere in Greystone Woods. You mean, is there an RHC camp here, too? Maybe. There have always been stories about people hiding out in the deep forest. I bet you dollars to donuts your signal is coming from right here in Greystone. Entonces tenemos que largarnos de aquí. We should get out of here. Chicken out if you want, but the canister stays here. Anyway, I, I thought you wanted to help your friends. <sighs> so I guess we look for the source of that signal. Wrong. You look for the source of that signal. I stay here and blow the kneecaps off any yellow suit tries to get this canister. Um, okay. Well, I guess I should be able to triangulate the signal. Triangulate? How's that work? I'll need a map and a portable radio. If I can pick up the signal from the two highest points in Greystone, I should be able to tell where it's coming from. Well, I can give you a map, so that's a start. And if you got any questions about the area, sling them my way. Vale, puedo ir a estos tres sitios: granja, cafetería y su Pokémon de barraca. Que es donde estamos ahora, ¿no? Sí. I shouldn't collect random plants in the forest. They could no be debería... poisonous or what not. Vale, no debería arrancar hierba por el bosque. Tenemos un tractor, ¿qué más? Un silo. El granero. Más hierba. Y a ver quién es este. El granjero. Hello. Yep. Bonita radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you no habla mucho. No can do, stranger. As long as I'm stuck here, that radio's my only entertainment. Pero es que realmente necesito una radio. Really need a radio? Well, I reckon we could come to some kind of arrangement here. An arrangement. I'm real hungry, but I gotta stay here. Fetch me something good to eat, and I'll lend you my radio. ¿Qué quieres para comer? You been to the diner? Rhonda fixes a fine sandwich. If you fetch me one with hot sauce, I reckon I can spare the radio for a time. Got it. I'll be back with your vittle soon, partner. Mmm. Don't make me use this firearm, boy. Ahí puedo seguir para allá. Harwood Energy, discharge channel. Looks like the power company is channeling stormwater through this meadow. The stream is running pretty fast after all that rain. Yeah! Jesus! Yes, I had out. I think I scare Harper. I think it's an electric fence. But by the looks of things, the power is off. Bueno, vamos a, a ir a la cafetería y a pedirle un sándwich. A ver si el granjero me lo cambia por la radio. In the dark.
piedras. Uh, I don't need any stones. No necesito piedra. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Eh, a ver, a ver. Eh. ¿Qué sabes sobre la Ranger Jervis? What can you tell me about Ranger Jervis? Oh, you've met Colonel Jervis? Colonel Jervis? Colonel is what everyone around here calls her. It's just a nickname, but it really suits her, right? I'm sure glad we have her around. She really cares about protecting Greystone. ¿De dónde viene el apodo de coronel? How come everyone calls her Colonel Jervis? Well, that's what everyone called her father back when he was park ranger. He was in the military before joining the park service. Raised her pretty much single-handed. When she took over the job, she just sort of took over the name too. She acts all mad when folk call her Colonel, but I reckon she likes it really. Es un poco arisca, ¿no? She's a bit of a dragon, isn't she? She's a good person, you know. She treats town folk a little rough, but that's how she gets the job done. You'll be glad she's out there when you slip into a gully and twist your leg, or run into a bear, or when you're birthing a calf in the snow and the veterinarian's drunk and dressed as Santa Claus. Okay, sorry. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm birthing a calf. Let's talk about something else. Eh, necesito algo para comer. Get me something to eat. Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Vale. Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic tomato catsup, surprisingly mellow mustard, buffalo barbecue smoke, sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise, and super spicy chipotle lava. Eh... Uh... No lo sé, tendré que ir a preguntarle porque algo me dice que si le traigo el, el sándwich equivocado me, me va a decir que no. Así que creo que tendré que volver a la granja y preguntarle al granjero qué tipo de sándwich quiere. Hello. Yep. What did you want for that radio again? One of Ronda's BLT. Con salsa picante, vale. Gotcha. No sé si me lo dijo antes. I better go. Mm -hmm. Pero no, no le hice caso. No lo leí, pero por lo menos ahora es un sándwich con salsa picante. Hi there. Hi, honey. What can I get you? Could I get me something to eat? Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Classic tomato catsup, surprisingly mellow mustard, buffalo barbecue smoke, sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise, and super spicy chipotle lava. Dame la lava de chipo chipotle mega picante. Give me some super spicy chipotle lava. Oh, darn it, I forgot. We're out of super spicy chipotle lava. Como no. Could you pick another sauce? Eh... Uh... Give me some super spicy chipotle. Sorry, Va a decir que no. No nos queda. Otro, pues, por ejemplo, ajo. Can I get the sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise? Sweet lemon garlic mayonnaise coming right up. Thanks. Tenemos aquí llaves. <laughs> That's 490, please. Okie dokie. No le va a gustar. Ya verás como esto no le va a gustar. Le va a decir que no es picante.
Hello. Yep. I better get... Mm -hmm. He wanted a sandwich with hot sauce. The sauce isn't even red. I better not give him the wrong sauce. Beh, no. The man has a gun. I guess that's Rhonda's car. I guess. A ver en el maletero. Oops. Oops. Jeez, I think a unicorn threw up. Cupcakes. Todos son cupcakes. Who decorated these? Liberace? Hmm, a pain of some guy getting attacked by birds. Hey, wait a minute. The symbol from the virus canister is in the painting. Maybe this is why Ranger Jervis recognized it. What's up? I'm Harper, just passing through Greystone Woods. Nelson Wiley. I guess I'm just passing through too. Uniform tan chulo. Cool uniform. I used to be a pizza delivery guy too. I'm not a pizza delivery guy. I work... Well, I worked up at the hydro power plant. How come you don't work at the hydro plant anymore? I walked out. Really? Why? Well, to be honest, it's my co-worker. He has it in for me real bad. I just can't take it any longer. I admire your work-refusing spirit. You're a hero. Ah, it's not that I don't want to work. Just with that guy carping at me every five seconds, it's too much. He's on his own. What's wrong with your co-worker? Ah, oh, he's always beefing at me, calling me stupid, doofus, klutz. Whatever I do is wrong. He always knows better, thinks he could do the job without me. Sounds like a bully. What did you do at the hydro plant? Monitor the system, watch the circuits, control the distribution systems, fish out the local teens when they go skinny dipping in the reservoir. It's not bad work, but it can get pretty intense after a thunderstorm. Good thing I'm down here, huh? Vale, vamos. A lo mejor nos sirve de algo este hombre después. Places like this give me a hankering for cherry pie. Hi there. Hi, honey. Who are those paintings by? Oof. They're by Cardero. You must have heard of him. He's a famous outsider artist. Lives right here in Greystone Woods. Do you know anything about the symbol in Cardero's paintings? No, not really. I mean, his work is so full of symbolism and hidden meaning. When he starts talking about it, my mind just boggles. But I do love hearing him speak so passionate. Where can I find Cardero? Well, he's retired from public life. He has a nice secluded spot out in the forest. I check on him every couple of days, bring him a few of the organic cupcakes he goes nuts for. Mm. You ought to leave him alone, though. He's none too fond of strangers. So, he's a reckless? Oh, my no. Just a crotchety loner who never goes out. Cardero's a big cupcake fan, right? He likes my special organic cupcakes. He's very picky, only eats organic. That's why I always set aside a special batch of nut and cakes when baking. Nut and cakes? Cakes with nut and good in them. But they make Cardero happy, and that makes me happy. A ver si me da otro sándwich distinto. Feels like I haven't eaten in a week. 
Well, you came to the right place. I make the best BLTs. Want to give one a try? Yeah, why not? You want sauce on that? What are the options? Clap. Vamos a ver. Es que el único, el único que me vale es este. Give me some super spicy chip. Sorry, darling. We still could you pick another? Actually, well, let... I was just see you later, honey. Tendría que encontrar la salsa en otra parte. Jeez, I think a unicorn threw. No need to film. <sighs> Gotta love that smell. Vale, voy a volver al principio a la barraca a ver si aquí hay algo. Colonel Arbroath Jervis, 1924 to 2000. My signs are a rainproof coat, good shoes, and a staff cut from the woods. Whitman. Hi, Colonel. Stop calling me that. <laughs> I managed to find that symbol. It's on the pictures in the diner. Of course. I've seen Cardero's paintings a million times. Why would Cardero use the same symbol as the folk who attack Yelltown? He's harmless. I mean, he's gone a little crazy living all alone in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I ain't crazy. Anytime I feel lonely, I just talk to Dad. Do you know where Cardero lives? Oh, yeah. He's holed up in the old Conifer Canyon military compound. Hmm. Conifer Canyon. Vale, tenemos otro sitio donde ir. Hey, about that signal. Vale, necesito la radio. See you later. Goodbye. Necesito la radio. Pero bueno, tengo un sitio nuevo. Look at all these weapons. Did Jervis grow up in the Hunger Games or something? Hello? No visitors. You're that artist, Cartero, right? No visitors! Can I come in? No, no visitors! Leave! I need to talk to you. Too busy to talk. Goodbye. No, no me va a dejar entrar. I can tell when I'm not welcome. Y creo Speak que para you. que me deje entrar, necesitaré llevarle algunos cupcakes. Those are some of the finest cupcakes I've ever seen in the trunk of a stranger's car. Just one of these cupcakes would quadruple my caloric intake for the week. Boy, do they look good. No sé si siempre tengo que llevar unos específicos o no. Who decorated these? Diabetes and brown, whole grain, no icing, no topping. These look kind of boring. They... Esos son. Esos son los que le gusta. Ahora vamos a ver si así me deja entrar. Hello. No visitors. I have some cupcakes for you. Please, just get out of cupcakes. Leave them on the ground. No. 
De eso nada, déjame entrar. Let me in. No, no visitors. Leave the cupcakes and go. Y mi propina. You won't see a dime from Cardero and drop the cupcakes. I can't leave them out here in the woods. Health code violation. Health code violation. I can't leave these fine cupcakes in such an unsanitary forest. They could get covered with germs. Uh, okay, um, bring them through the gate. Aquí hay una hoguera aquí en medio y un libro. That Cardero guy must have dropped this. The Dust Bowl Rider, a Sheriff Cardero adventure. Cardero. Hmm. This sculpture is like a creepy garden gnome made of molten metal. I don't trust it. Hey, I thought you wanted your cupcakes. Just leave them by the door. <laughs> ¿Y qué pasa con las normas What about the health regulations? Cadero's place is immaculately sanitary. Immaculate. Leave the cupcakes and go. I'll give you the cupcakes if we can talk face to face. No deal. Keep walking, Joe. Are you named after Cardero the cowboy? Oh, you, you read Cardero books? No, I just found this old paperback. Oh, a uh, good one. Sheriff Cardero finally tracks down cattle rustler Nubuck Slim, only to discover that Slim is his third cousin. What a twist. Hey, you know, maybe we're a bit like Cardero and Slim. Maybe we'd find something in common if we talked in person. Well, uh, you don't look like a third cousin, but uh, wait there. Chuck, me la pinta. Hello. I saw some of your paintings in Rhonda's diner. Yeah. You're not an art critic, are you? No, no, no. I just noticed that they all have this strange symbol in them. No, 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 no. Cardero doesn't know anything about it. Nothing. You must remember painting the symbol. No, nope, no recollection. It's all gone. Locked deep down. Listen, I really need to find out what that symbol... No, you! Listen, Cardero can't put some things into words. Put it into art instead. Hit it away. You hit something away? Something to do with that symbol? Took all the memories, poured them into the masterpiece. Locked them away into... Ah, but you wouldn't understand. I would understand. I love arty farty crap. Tell me where you hit it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about... The triptych. The trip what? What are you talking about? If you truly wish to understand the art of Cardero, go back to the diner. See the three paintings. Misery, Salvation, Dawn, the triptych. Talk to people. Learn the story. Find the meaning. Okay, so if I can get my head around this triptych, You'll tell me about the symbol, right? Cardero speaks through his art. Understand the triptych, and you may be ready to see the masterpiece. Jeez. Oh, I mean, thanks. Enjoy the cupcakes. Vale, tenemos que volver a la cafetería. Vale, los cuadros son este que tenemos aquí, este es uno, el último, 
Estos tres. Los, los únicos tres que hay. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. De todo dice lo mismo. Hi there. Hi honey. What can I get you? What do you know about those three paintings? The cryptic triptych? <laughs> you know, I think these three were part of a big transition for Cardero. He always used to say his art came from inside him, from his imagination. But when he came to the final painting, he started using real subjects. From life, he called it. I keep teasing, asking when he'll paint my picture. Do you know the names of the paintings? Truth be told, the names never made a lot of sense to me. I mean, I remember that the one with the sun is called Don. Naturally, it's my favorite. I think the others are called Salvation and Misery. But which is which? Search me. Maybe the true artists want to leave you wondering. I was just about to leave. Vale, hay que saber See you later, cuál honey. es cuál. Este es amanecer. So these paintings are by an artist called Cardero. He must know something about where that symbol comes from. Pero no lo dice, no, no sé, al examinarlos no dice cuál es cuál. Remind me what you said about Cardero's paintings. Well, Don with the Sun is my favorite of the three. But like I told you, these paintings, by the time he did the last one, he'd started painting from life. Can you remember which one he did last? Not for sure, honey. I'm so used to seeing them as a trio, I don't really remember. I was just about to leave. See you later, honey. Vale, seguiré preguntando a los demás, a ver. What's up? Nothing much. Do you know anything about Cardero's paintings? Whose paintings? Cardero? He did the paintings on the wall? Don't know anything about them. Sorry. You better ask someone else. Catch you later. Bye. Vale, ¿quién falta? Faltaría la coronel. A lo mejor sabe algo. Y el granjero. Hi, Colonel. Stop call. Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? The three paintings in the diner. He calls them Salvation, Misery, and Dawn. Ah, uh, yes. The forest was the only one that appealed to me. I know the place. It's a clearing in Greystone Woods. The trees are so tall and thin. It makes you feel like a kid again. Real peaceful. Do you remember what the forest painting was called? I always thought it ought to be named Salvation, being so peaceful and all. But he named one of the other two Salvation. Artists, huh? Remind me what you said about Cardero's forest painting. Well, in my opinion, he ought to have called it Salvation instead of whatever he chose in the end. It reminds me of my childhood, you see. Maybe because I know the part of Greystone he based it on. Vale, le llamó Salvación al que no es el... See you later. El de los árboles, el del bosque. Eso significa que ya tenemos los tres, ¿no? Si el del sol es amanecer... Vamos a volver. Vale, a ver si podemos decirle el orden correcto. Hello again. Hello. I think I understand your triptych. Mm -hmm. Then tell Cardero about salvation. Salvation depicts a violent struggle. I think it's you fighting for your life, trying to escape something. Hmm. 
What about misery? Misery tiene que ser el del bosque. Misery depicts a forest. Makes me think of a lonely child lost in the woods. Hmm. Now dawn. Dawn depicts a sunrise. The brightness kind of makes you forget how dark the other paintings are. What about the sequence I can... Y este es el problema, que no me sé el orden. No me sé el orden. The first painting was Dawn. Lo voy a hacer al azar, a ver si acierto. The second painting was Misery. And the final painting was Salvation. No, no. No. You lack feeling for the art. Try to get to know it better. Huh. Okay. See you later. Hello again. No. See you. Bueno, voy a ir a la granja, que no he hablado con el granjero todavía sobre los cuadros. Hello. Yep. Have you heard of Cardero the artist? Artist? More like a crusty old shut-in. I've seen his art. It don't amount to much, if you ask me. Do you know anything about Cardero's triptych? His what? How well do you think I know the man? I mean, the, the three paintings in the diner. Oh, those eyesores. I don't know why Rhonda don't take them down. I was there when he brought in that big yeller son. Must have been the second or third he done. It'd look better than a hobo's campfire, if you ask me. I told him as much. He just eyeballed me like I was crazy. <laughs> You mentioned one of Cardero's paintings? Yeah, the sun. It was the second or third one he'd done. But he should have quit before he got started. If you ask me, an artist has no business painting in this day and age. No siree. Am I the only one who remembers Marcel Duchamp? Vale, sabemos que Amanecer fue el segundo o el tercero. Hi, Colonel. Stop call. Remind me what- Well, in my opinion, he ought to have called it salvation. It reminds me of my childhood, you see. Maybe because I know the part of- No, este no me dice el orden. See you later. Bye. Hi there. Hi, honey. Remind me what you said about Cardero's paintings. Well, Don with the Sun is my favorite of the three. But like I told you, these paintings were kind of a turning point for Cardero. By the time he did the last one, he'd started painting from life. Can you remember which one he did last? Not for sure, honey. I'm so used to seeing them as a trio, I don't really remember. I was just about to leave. See you later, hon. Es que no se acuerda. Lo único que sé es que este es el segundo o el tercero, nada más. Hi there. Hi, honey. Remind me. Well, Don, but like I told you, these paintings were kind of a turning point for Cardero. By the time he did the last one, he'd started painting from life. Can you remember which one he did? Not for. I was just a... Cuando estaba ocupado con el último empezó a dibujar motivos reales. Vale, vamos a probar otra vez. Hello again. Hello. I th mm. 
Salvation, I think it's mm. Miser makes mm. Don the bright. Vale, y ahora a ver. The first painting. The second painting. And the final. No, no, no. Huh. I. No sé si me estoy equivocando en el orden o también en el tipo de cuadro. Salvate, I think it's mm. Miz makes mm. Don the bro oh. The first The second and the final You made an effort No Good. Huh Casi, yo creía que sí porque había dicho algo diferente, pero no. What's the See the three paintings. Misery. So talk to people. Learn the story. Okay, and then you'll show uh, Just See you later. Me falta gente con quien hablar. Hi there. Hi, honey. Remind. Well, Don, but like I told you, these paintings were. By the time he did the last one, he'd started. Can you remember? Not for. I was just. See you later. ABLT with sweet lemon. So, this is an evil scarecrow. Good to. Ah, esta planta será algo picante. Huh. Look at Guindillas. The mm. Hey. Guindillas. Vale. Sí, junto a la quindilla con el sándwich. This makes the sauce a bit more like super spicy chipotle lava. Vale, ya que tengo la quindilla y tengo el sándwich. I wonder if this makes the sauce a bit more like super spicy chipotle lava. Le puedo dar el sándwich ya de, de, chiplot, de chipotle. Si sí puedo. Si sí puedo subir hasta allí. Bueno, vamos a dárselo directamente, sí. A ver si se lo traga. Ah, now that's what I call hot sauce. Thanks, son. You can take the radio. Thank you. A deal's a deal. Bien, ya tenemos la radio. Ahora podemos hacer la triangulación. Nos habían dicho que tenemos que buscar dos lugares, los dos lugares más altos. Y aquí vemos que tenemos los la, las alturas. 6.100, 6.100, 6.200 aquí. 6.500. Todos los demás son de 4.000 o 5.000. Así que los más altos son este 6200. Yeah, this looks like one of the highest spots in Greystone. Y el 6500. Okay, this should be one of the highest places I can get to. Vale, pues vamos a ir a esos dos lugares. Habría que subirse y usar la radio aquí para triangular.
Más o menos por ahí. Vamos al otro sitio. Y lo mismo. Okay, I think this place is where the signal is strongest from both positions. This must be where the signal is coming from. Vale, de aquí viene la señal y hay que apagarla. Pero tenemos un árbol en medio. This place was like Fort Knox. Someone really didn't want people getting in. Huh, that might come in handy. Vale, no llevamos la barra. Oh, crap. The tree is totally blocking the entrance. And this is where the weird signal is coming from. What's going on here? Pues por ahora no podemos pasar. ¿Qué nos queda por hacer? Bueno, quizás el... Aquí tenemos el tractor. Puede. Puede que con el tractor podemos quitar el árbol. Hello. Yep. Tu tractor. Podría mover un árbol enorme. Could your tractor move a really big tree? I reckon she could do just that. She's a beast. Podría tomarlo prestado por un ratito. Could I borrow it for a little while? Are you conversant with the phrase when <laughs> cuando la rana cría pelos? Sí. Mm, yes. You understand the import of that saying? You no. Know? No one but me drives that tractor, and I can't leave this porch to let pair of prairie oysters at the hydro plant get the power going. Moverías el árbol si consigo que vuelva la electricidad. Would you tow the tree if I got your power back on? Well, sure. I reckon I'd be obliged to you. I ain't got a cable winch though. You better get yourself one. Okay. ¿Dónde está la central de hidroeléctrica? Es verdad que no sabemos dónde está. It's up north, hard by Lake Delilah. Ahí estamos, vale. Sabemos dónde está la central de hidroeléctrica. Prairie oysters. The hydro plant is run by two brothers, always a feuding and fighting. Yeah, I, I think I met one of them. Probably at each other's throats instead of fixing my power. O sea, que eran hermanos. Eran hermanos. He oído rumores sobre sucesos extraños en el bosque. Strange occurrences in the forest. Have you noticed anything odd? Mm-hmm. There's something happening out there, sure enough. También oíste el ruido extraño. Did you also hear a weird noise? No, but I saw something. What did you see? Couldn't rightly say what it was. A few nights ago, I dropped into the diner for a beer and a little supper. It was a clear night, so I figured I'd walk home. Took a little shortcut through the forest, and then it came. This creature crashing out of the undergrowth. It was a, a beast like I, I had never saw before. Looked kind of like a small bear, but with these black, greasy claws, acrid stench, wild, staring eyes. I get off a couple rounds, and it sky hoots off into the brush on all fours. Doogie! And it's how. Oh, a shrieking, blood curdling cry. Like he was throttling a fox. Intense, man. I better go. Vale, vámonos. Bueno, sabemos entonces que el que está en la cafetería que se peleó con. con dice, decía que era su compañero de trabajo, pero también es su hermano. Así que vamos a, a la central. Tiene que haber una sola persona aquí. I wish I could just drive away, but I need to get that virus canister for Professor McBride. There's a lot of pipes around here. Huh. No door handle. It looks like you have to type in a password or something to get in. Vale, necesito una contraseña. The 
lights are on, someone must be working late. Allez, tourner les gaz. I wouldn't mind whipping out the old multi-tool and finding out how all this stuff works. But I guess I'm supposed to save the world or something. Positively, no swimming. Se prohibió el baño. More tuberías. Más 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 tuberías. Quizá quiera volver a trabajar. What's up? Nothing much. Sabías que hay una gran gente sin electricidad. Esto es nuevo. Hey, did you know there's a whole farm with no power? <laughs> Not getting along so well without me, hey eh, Ed? Ed, I'm Harper. Edwin, my co-worker. Oh yeah, I remember. Sounds like a real bully. Yeah, well, if Ed's having trouble, that's music to my ears. <laughs> Qué cabrón. Se está riendo. A ver. Eh, eh, no sería mejor si volvieras al Maybe trabajo. Maybe you should go back to work. No way. Do you know what his latest joke was? He actually changed my gate password to an insult. Uh, 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 uh. He's making me insult myself before I even get through the gate. That's pretty darn low. Vale, ha modificado la contraseña para entrar por la puerta con un insulto. Remind me why your coworker is such a bully. He's always criticizing me. Idiota, imbécil, zopenco. Tiene que ser una de esas tres palabras. Telling me go to hell, ragging on the stash. Not the stash. Vale, vamos a probar. Bye. Hmm. Ahí está, hay que poner. A ver. Esa no es. Probemos con imbécil. Ah, ahí está. <laughs> y este es el hermano. What the? Who are you? How did you get in here? Fox Mulder, FBI. Fox Mulder, FBI. What? Please tell me you don't really believe that. I want to believe. This is absurd. Did my dim-witted brother put you up to this? Your brother? Nelson, that idiot has gone too far. Sending some goon in here to annoy me. Wait, Nelson Wiley is your brother? Si, te lo acabo de decir el granjero. Que son hermanos. Por cierto, cuando ha dicho la verdad está ahí fuera, lo que realmente ha dicho, quiero creer. Han cambiado la frase. Vale, eh... Nelson Wiley, el cajica que encontré en la cafetería. Nelson Wiley, the winer in the diner. He's my brother, all right. But he takes after the catastrophically dumb side of the family. You've had your fun. Now get out and let me work. Sabía que hay una granja aquí cerca que se ha quedado sin electricidad. You know there's a nearby farm with no power? Oh, there is, is there? 
and you thought you'd just swing by and tell me how to do my job. <laughs> the whole plant is under huge pressure because of that darn thunderstorm. Connections blown. Water flow off the charts. Monitoring the pipe system is more than enough work for one person. I can't deal with distribution, too. Distribution is meant to be Nelson's job. Quizá podría ocuparme yo de arreglar el sistema de distribución. Maybe I help sort out distribution. Not in a million years. You think I'd let you stroll in here and operate sophisticated machinery? <laughs> I'd laugh if I wasn't mad as hell right now. Quizá deberías pedirle a Nelson que vuelva al Maybe trabajo. Maybe you should ask Nelson to come back to work. The klutz master general? Never. You want to do me a favor? Tell Nelson to go jump in the lake. Jeez. Nelson was not exaggerating when he told me you were mean. You'd be mean too if you were dealing with all this pressure, figuratively and literally. Eh, ¿Qué problema tienes con Nelson? Problem with Nelson? My problem? You obviously don't have a brother who's a lazy, clumsy oaf. And that stupid mustache. He says you think you can do the job without him. You know what? I will do this without him. Better than having to clean up his messes all the time. ¿Cuál de los dos eres, el mayor? Brother. Who do you think? Well, you're the balder brother. <laughs> I'm the older one. Knew it! Soy peor que Cain y Abel. You give Cain and Abel a run for their money. I didn't take you for a biblical scholar. Biblical scholar? Uh, I was talking about the pro wrestlers. <laughs> ¿Dónde llevas esa puerta? That door go? That's the control room. Where my good for nothing brother ought to be fixing. Ajá, ahí donde tenemos que entrar. ¿Por qué no vas a la sala de control y reparas el sistema de distribución tú? Why don't you go through there and fix the distribution system yourself? Why don't you go French kiss a rattlesnake? I'm busy. I better get going. Good idea. Vale, pues en esa puerta, la que sea. Esta puerta. Tenemos. A ver. Get away from there. No me deja entrar. Vale, tenemos otro teclado con otra clave. Nota. What's this note? None of your business. Mientras este esté aquí, no puedo hacer nada. Terminal. The tech in this room is so dated, I almost feel at home. Hmm. Okay. Vale. Donde estaba el espantapájaro, había un cartel con un número 2. Puede ser... I wonder what happens if I pull this. Que tiramos tirando del número 2. Vamos a ver. Se cortará el río, el... Este trozo de aquí el juego está fatal. Sí, es el número dos. ¿A dónde va? Harwood Energy discharge. Canal de desagüe dos. Power Company is channeling stormwater through this meadow. Vale, tenemos el espantapájaro. Up close, you're kind of cute, and I don't see any crows around. Let's give you a little break. Te lo va a llevar? But I'm not sí. giving you a brain. You'd kill us all. It's pretty muddy, but I can get across now. ¿Y qué hago con el espantapájaro? You, know, you almost scared me to death. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Ah, espera, 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 espera. Vamos a ver. En la central hemos visto un cartel de prohibido nadar. Y si tiro el espantapájaro al agua, ¿parecerá una persona que está nadando? ¿O que se ha caído al agua? Ahí estamos. Y ahora, volver abajo, le decimos que hay alguien que se ha caído o que está nadando o 
sea. A ver si se va de ahí. Hello? I thought I told you to scram. Parece que hay alguien nadando en el embalse. Hey, it looks like someone swimming in the reservoir. What? No. When I said Nelson should jump in the lake, it's very dangerous to swim in the reservoir. Well, whoever's out there doesn't seem to be moving much. Oh god. I have to get down there. And don't touch anything. No, no voy a tocar nada, que va. A ver, la nota esta que no me dejó leer antes. Huh. Vale, la nota. Z. A la S. God, they have one of these things here. I was starting to get worried. This panel seems to be flashing. Vale, eh, aquí tenemos presión y cuatro turbinas correcto. Dos turbinas correctas. Dos. Tres. Vale. Vale, esta estaba bien. Esta también estaba bien. Solo esta es la que está mal, entonces. Ahí estamos. 4 de 4. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Fixing the distribution system. Uh, don't be ridiculous. The system is far too. Hold on. You actually did it. That's very impressive. You're hired. No, 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 no. I just wanted to fix the power. I don't want a job. Ugh. Uh, but the distribution <laughs> system needs constant monitoring. If you leave, it'll just... See what I mean? It takes talent and commitment to do Nelson's job. No decías que Nelson era un imbécil. Didn't you say Nelson was a useless doofus? Nelson drives me crazy, but I guess he was good at his job. I... I thought for a minute it might be Nelson down in the reservoir. Pick up the phone, man. Nelson's in the diner. You think? No, he'd never come back. Quieres que vuelva, no? I want him here, right? Well... Uh... He hello <clears throat> Can I speak to Nelson Wiley, please? Uh, Nelson. Nelson. I. Eh, dile que lo siente. Tell him you're sorry. Nelson, I'm sorry you got so upset. Are you kidding me? Nelson. Go boil your head. Nelson, can't you see I'm trying to apologize here? Dile que te arrepientes de haberle insultado. Tell him you regret calling him names. Nelson, in the heat of the moment, I may have said one or two mean things. One or two mean things? Okay, okay. I'm a horrible grouch and I shouldn't have treated you like that. I'm sorry. Ahora dile que lo quiere. Tell him you love him. 
Eso ya no. Ahí no. I love you, little brother. Oh, yeah? Okay, brother. Well, what did he say? He's coming back to work. <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna try not to lose my temper so easily. Now get the hell out of my hydro plant before I call the cops. <laughs> y eso que no voy a perder los nervios, eh. Vale, ya tenemos electricidad. Ahora volvemos a... A la granja. You missed it, stranger. Power's back on. I know. I actually helped. Reckon I'd be keeping vigil all night and then click. Yeah, I was the one who... Guess those Harwood chuckleheads finally did something right. I guess they did. Now the power's back on. Can you help me move that tree? Well, you got that cable winch? Not yet. Well, vale. holler when you do. I better go. Mm-hmm. Vale, lo que llama torno de cable es un cabestrante. Y he visto uno en el coche de la coronel. Este coche tiene... Bueno, torno de cable, es un cabestrante. Huh. I could use this cable winch to help shift that big tree. I better ask Ranger Jervis, though. She'd blow a gasket if she caught me stealing it. Pues preguntémosle a ver si no lo da. O quiere algo a cambio. Hey. Hey, how are you getting along? He encontrado found la estación de radio oculta. Your hidden radio station. You did? Was anyone still there? Nah, it looks empty. But there's a huge tree trunk blocking the entrance. I need to find a way of moving it. Podemos usar tu coche para arrastrar el árbol y dejar libre la estación de radio, ¿no? Can we use your car to tow no the tree eso. away from the radio station? How big are we talking? Big. I'm surprised we can't see it from here. Forget it. Bessie wouldn't have the traction. You better find some other way to shift it. Puedo usar el torno de cable en tu Say, coche. Can I take the cable winch from your car? I need it to remove the tree trunk from the radio station. I guess so. As long as I get it back. I promise. Thanks. See you later. Goodbye. Ahora hay que desmontar el cabestrante y llevárselo a la grúa, a la grúa, a la, al tractor. Vale, para desmontarlo habrá que usar la llave inglesa. That's far too tight. Demasiado apretado. Ajá, hagamos palanca con la barra. And with the extra leverage, I might actually be able to loosen the winch. Ah, physics. Ahora sí. Hello. Yep. I found a cable winch. All right, let's give this tree of yours a whopping. Thanks, partner. Always glad to do a good turn, but uh, a word of advice. Yes? Call me partner again and you'll lose a tooth. Vale, ya podemos pasar. Pero la puerta estará abierta. Sí. They've got some serious hardware here, and a lot of this stuff looks new. Is that a book in the puddle? Hmm. Vale, un libro. It's after. 
はいvale, están parece un diario de de esta chica usuario a smith password eagle eso va a ser útil además Looks like that rain found its way down here. Time to switch off that damn signal. I but it might slow them down, at least. Usuario, era a Smith, ¿no? Ah. No, vale. Vale, ya estamos dentro. CD para cambiar de directorio, config para configurar, home, access y listo. Acceso denegado. También acceso denegado. También acceso denegado, no se puede hacer nada. Y la ROM tampoco creo que se pueda leer. Tampoco. Nos queda con FIC. Incubación. Sistema de incubación desactivado. Incubación fracasada. Red. Acceso a, red, a la red denegado. Y el 3. Desactivar la señal de radio. A eso habíamos venido. All right. I guess that should do it. Pues ya está, nos podemos ir. Desactivada. Ah, ha saltado una alarma. Al desactivar la señal ha saltado una alarma. ¿Y ahora dónde? A la barraca. Porque era esto lo que teníamos que hacer para conseguir el virus. Hey. Hey, how you getting along? I switched off the radio signal. Nice work. Maybe we can't stop the disease, but at least we've stopped their clarion. What else did you find? Eh, someone's diary, but nothing about who's really behind all this. Well, let's keep investigating the Cardero connection. I'm on it. Vale, es lo que nos quedaba. Lo que Bye. nos queda por hacer es eh, decirle a, Car a Cardero cuál es el orden de los cuadros. Y lo único que sabemos es que el del amanecer era segundo o tercero. Yo ya probé el tercero. Vamos a probar ahora el segundo. I think I understand your trip, Dick. Then tell Cardero about salvation. Salvation depicts a violent struggle. I think it's you fighting for your life, trying to escape something. What about Misery. Misery depicts a forest. Makes me think of a lonely child lost in the woods. Hmm. Now dawn. Dawn depicts a sunrise. The brightness kind of makes you forget how dark the other paintings are. But what about the sequence I completed them? Vale. El... Si amanecer lo ponemos en el centro, vamos a poner primero desgracia y último salvación. Y si no, al revés. 
The first painting was Misery. The second painting was Dawn. And the final painting was Salvation. We made an effort. Huh. Pues al revés, entonces. I think... Salvation, I think... Misery makes... Dawn, the bro... Oh. Vamos a probar primero Salvación. The first painting was Salvation. Segundo amanecer Y luego desgracia Ahora sí, yo creo que ahora está bien Well, I feel like you're digging back into your past Like, something you fought to get away from Is that it? Did I get it right? There is no right and wrong in art You found your own meaning That means more You are ready to see the masterpiece Yes me enseñarás ahora tu obra maestra. Will you show me the masterpiece now? I have to find out what that symbol means. The masterpiece is hidden in a remote cave. Cadero will lead you there. You are ready to see it now. Cadero just doesn't know if he is ready to see it again. Follow. So, is this the place? How are we going to find a masterpiece with all this junk? <laughs> Esa es la obra de arte, me temo. Um, I think <laughs> the junk is the masterpiece. Oh. Didn't Cardero tell you it was going to explain everything? The ape climbs to the apex. Well, that's real good, but... The salamander eats its brother. You okay, buddy? Take out and shoot the three-legged mare. The worker at carries four times its weight. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle, the eagle! I guess a guy. Cardero! A saber lo que habrá fumado este. What do we do? Is it some kind of reaction to this place? I, I had a bad allergic reaction when I was a kid, and I nearly died. We need a doctor! Calm down, Pendrel. He does this sometimes. Not usually this bad, though. What, what, what was he saying? The eagle? The, the salamander? He can get stuck in a bad memory, is all. I'll stay with him and keep him safe. He's shivering cold. Can you make a fire? Fuego? A fire? How? <sighs> Town folk. Can I take some of the firewood from your cabin? No way. I give you the key, you could waltz off with that virus canister. Come on, I, I thought you wanted firewood. Oh, jeez, is this kid getting dumber? You're in a forest, jackass. Find some. Take this book and use your brain. ¿Cómo hacer fuego? Yesca, leña menuda, leña combustible. Usa el cuchillo para rascar el hongo yesca por dentro y obtener unos copos de color marrón rojo. Forma de copos, el hongo te dará chispa mucho más rápido que cualquier otra forma. Frota el pedernal con el acero moviéndolo rápidamente. Espera que el hongo ennegrezca y chispee. Cuando el hongo yesca empieza a chispear, añádelo al resto de la yesca y sopla con cuidado hasta que todo el montoncito, el montoncillo arda. Cuando la yesca esté ardiendo, empieza a añadir la leña menuda. Sopla para avivar el fuego y ármate de paciencia. Cuando la leña menuda arda con cierta intensidad, empieza a añadir la leña combustible en pedazos más grandes de forma piramidal. Ten cuidado de no alimentar el fuego con demasiados trozos grandes de una sola vez. Y aquí tenemos una serie de plantas. Ocho plantas. Vale, esta es venenosa. Sirve para hacer un café sorprendentemente bebible. Eso es lo que nos hace falta, darle café, darle un estimulante para que se levante. Esto es para el dolor de estómago. Propiedades curativas. 
Este también es venenosa. Este es para cocinar. Otra para cocinar. Se obtiene una infusión de color marrón amarillento con un alto contenido en cafeína. Va a ser esto. O esta, o el diente de león, o la llanilla blanca. Pero bueno, la llanilla blanca parece que tiene más contenido en cafeína. Vale, ¿qué hay por aquí? Ramas pequeñas. These small branches might help me get the campfire. Vale, hemos encontrado por todo el juego ramas pequeñas, ramas grandes y también hemos encontrado algunas hierbas que no las podíamos coger. Pues ahora hay que salir ahí fuera, volver a todos los lugares y recoger todas las ramas y todas las piedras también. Y luego volver aquí a hacer fuego. Looks like cushions from an old car seat. Did Cardero used to sleep out here? A kettle. Nervidor. Sure, that's not a crucial part of Cardero's artistic what you call it. Alesó una tetera. What? What is that thing? That microwave has readied its last meal. Ahí está el hongo yesca que decía el libro. From what I saw in Jervis's book, I think that's tinder fungus. I don't really think I can pull the tinder fungus right off the tree. Vale, con el cuchillo a lo mejor sí. Okay, let's get some tinder fungus. Vale, decía que había que sacar copos. Entonces podía usar Cuchillo para sacar algunos copos. Scrape the tinder fungus. Okay, now I have some tinder flakes. The barrel is full of water. Vale, pues sí hay que hacer. Entonces coincide todo con esto. Hay que hacer. Tenemos una tetera y hay que hacer una infusión. La tetera. Recogemos agua. Okay, let's get some water. Pero hay que salir y recoger. Eh, más, más palos y piedras seguramente. Could this be flint? En la granja también había. Otra vez está mal. Se da la vuelta, ahora vuelve de nuevo. Se atasca. I recognize this plan. It's in Jervis's book. Let's see. What's this? Vale, necesito esta, que tenga estas hojas. No, no es ninguna, pero esta sí, esta es diente de león, ¿verdad? Sí. I recognize this plan. It's in Jervis's book. Esa no es. Ah, uh, more stones. I got enough small branches. Vale, tengo ramas pequeñas suficientes, pero faltan las grandes. Falta la leña combustible. Could this be flint? Let's see. What's this? This dry wood looks perfect for a campfire. Vale, ya tengo la tengo los dos tipos de leña. Solo faltaría que una de estas piedras sea pedernal. 
Ah, mira, es esta. Esta es la, la hierba que necesito. Es esta. Pues no sé si será pedernal. Había que frotarla con un cuchillo. I don't want it. Con... I don't want it. I don't want it. Poco. I don't want it. No, creo que ninguna de esas es pedernal. Ramas pequeñas ya tengo. En la cafetería había piedra en el suelo. Había aquí al lado del coche había unas piedras. Ah, uh. ah, uh, my. This looks like a flint. Let's see. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Esta es pedernal. Creo que lo tengo todo. Vamos a volver a la cueva. Y ahora a ver las instrucciones que decía. Cardero's dog. Esto no era. Eh... Opos los tengo. Y ya he frotado el... Cuando el hongo yesca empieza a chispear. O sea, que habrá que añadir primero... Ok, let's see. Los copos. Luego... La yesca con chisma. Ok, let's try this. Yes, the tinder powder is small. Vale. Ahora, cuando la yesca está ardiendo, empieza a añadir... No, añádelo el resto de la yesca. Eso ya... El resto de la yesca lo okay. añadimos. All right. Looking good. It's burning. Vale, y lo siguiente es cuando la yesca está ardiendo, empieza a añadir la leña menuda. Ok, carefully now. Yes, the small sticks are starting to burn. Y por último, la madera seca. Ok, firewood, it's all on you now. Yes, fire. <laughs> uh, I feel so manly right now. Congratulations, you're as manly as a ten-year-old boy scout. <laughs> a personal best. We'll make a backwoodsman of you yet. Cardero, talk to me, dude. Cardero. Nada, sigue oh, durmiendo. Wake up already. Give vale. him space. He's warm now. He'll recover in his own time. Last time he took a turn, he didn't say nothing for two days. I can't wait days. He knows what that symbol means. It might explain everything. Well, what are you gonna do? Hmm. Vale, ahora añadiremos el agua. Let's boil that water. Y es esta hierba mm -hmm. al agua. Tasty. What have you got there? It's Dahoon Holly tea. Dahoon Holly, eh? Good thinking. That might be just the thing to give Cardero a boost. Y ahí lo tenemos. Cardero, are you okay? This place. This place brings it all back. Ah, Cardero. Thought I broke your brain. The eagle is rising. ¿Recuerdas ahora qué significa el símbolo? Can you remember what that symbol means now? It is the eagle, their seal. It means death for us all. Hmm. Here I was hoping it meant crawlers for us all. ¿Qué es tan importante en este lugar? What's so important about this place? I captured it in art. The room of indoctrination. The words. The noise. This represents the place where they tortured me. Tried to make me think like them. Who did this? They did this. The people in the woods. The ones who attacked your home. The death cult. My mother joined them when I was just a boy. They put their mark on me. Now, I need rest. Vale, la RHC es una secta, entonces. 
No, necesito averiguar más cosas sobre esa secta. No, I need to know more about this cult. <laughs> you will know more, but it's too late. I escaped them once. This time, no one will. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let a bunch of crackpots stroll around killing everyone. Then let me take that canister to Professor McBride. You know I'm not one of them. I don't have that ugly tattoo. Plus, I disabled that signal. True. You're okay, Pendril. Come down to the cabin. I got something for you. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. Here, take the canister. Maybe I also should have shown you this earlier. A phone number? I sort of lied when I said I couldn't track down your girlfriend. That's her number. Hello, well. I have to call her, and she's not my girlfriend. Okay, whatever. You can use my phone. Thanks, Colonel. I mean, Ranger Jervis. Hmm. Hello. Hello, well? Harper? Is that you? We've been so worried. Where are you? I'm out in the boondocks, in the Greystone Woods Ranger Shack. Greystone? How did you get there? Una amable ranger me rescató. Sí, le vamos a decir esto. I was rescued by a kindly park ranger. Kindly? <laughs> a park ranger? Stay where you are. I'll drive right over. Listen, hello well. I think I know who's behind the Yelltown attack. I even found the radio tower that transmitted your radio signal. The source of the signal? That's amazing. Did you get pictures? Uh, pictures? <laughs> No, pero he encontrado este viejo diario. No, but I found this old diary. Can you get in there? We need all the evidence we can get. Sure, I'll try. I'll drive across from Port Nicola now. Meet you at the Ranger Shack in two hours. Okay. Harper, it's good to hear your voice. You, you too. You need pictures, eh? Yeah, I. Uh... Take my camera. There's still a few pictures left on the roll. Thank you. Just get the bastards, okay? Vale, pues tenemos que volver otra vez a la emisora y hacer fotos. What's going on here? La alarma. Hey, what, what are you doing there? Hello, hello. Just a little bit of tidying up. You must be the one who interfered with the transmission. Returning to the scene of the crime. Rookie mistake. Tu forma parte de esa secta de chalados. That crazy cult. Crazy cult. I'm just a cleaner, son. No te muevas, voy a armar. I'm armed. I got one of your virus canisters, and I'm not afraid to use it. Do you know how to use it? What was the question? Did you ever wonder what the fever feels like? I... what? It feels like this. <gasps> if you've no objections now, I'll take this canister off your hands. Ah, nos quedamos sin virus. Starting to get cold. 